bring your knitwear to life with color. In today's Knitting Daily, we'll learn ways to work color into your knitted projects with a focus on stranded knitting techniques. I'm Uni Jang, your co-host, and I'm going to begin with holding and managing your yarns for color work. It's that all-important first step. And then it's the designer spotlight with author Mary Scott Huff. She's joining Shay, and she's going to take us through her ebony jewel wing hat and purse. It's a colorful project knit in the round. And next, Lisa Myers presents another multicolored hat project, the Star Beret, and her tips for stranded knitting. Last up, Laura Bryant and Barry Klein are back to talk with Kim about their techniques for color work success. So we'll start with holding your yarns for color work. Any time that you're working with yarns for, any time you're working with two colors of yarn at a time, there's always the question of how do you manage them, how do you deal with them? And there are kind of three main ways to do it, all in your left hand, or all in your right hand, or using both hands together. So I'm going to just walk you quickly through some different ways that you can do this. And as always, you know, it's really about what's most comfortable for you. If 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 something is slightly different works for you, that's great. So I'm going to start with holding your yarns all in your right hand. And obviously, this may be more comfortable for you if you knit English style, or if you're a picker, or excuse me, if you're a thrower, as as um, it's sometimes called. So there are two ways to do it. You can either just knit with one yarn at a time, and that means simply just knitting as usual, dropping that yarn, picking up the next color, knitting, dropping the yarn, picking up the next color, and so on. And as you can see, that can be just a little bit tedious since you're constantly stopping and starting. If you do do this, you want to always make sure that you pick up the same color from the same place, either you just need to decide if your background or your main color, or excuse me, if your main color or your contrast color is going to come from above or from below the other color at all times. The other way to do this is to hold both yarns at once in your right hand. And to do this, there are several different variations on it, but the way that I'm going to do it is hold both yarns as I would for regular throwing. So I'm just going to tension them around my pinky like I usually do. And then I'm going to hold one over my index finger and one over my middle finger. And I'm just going to keep knitting as usual. And it's, it takes just a little bit of a different motion. So I'm going to knit with my middle finger, knit with my index finger, knit with my middle finger, and knit with my index finger, and so on and so on. And this is obviously much faster since you're not always stopping and starting, although you might drop your yarns like I just did. Um, and you are always sure that your yarns are going to be coming from the same place. One's always going to be coming from above and one's always going to be coming from below. You can also hold both your yarns in your left hand if you're more interested in, if you're, if you're traditionally a picker, or a picker or if you knit in the continental style. So again here, obviously you can knit with one yarn at a time, picking a stitch, dropping, pick, picking it up, picking a stitch, dropping, picking the other color up, dropping the yarn, picking up the other one. And again, that's much, much slower. So here there are a couple ways to do both yarns at the same time in your left hand as well. Um, you can hold both yarns over your index finger, or just hold both yarns together as you would, and just sort of separate them out a little bit. And they have little gadgets that can help you do this too. They're called a yarn guide, or you can just separate them out over your knuckle. And here you would just pick one and you want to always try and keep them separated. Pick the other, pick one, and pick the other. And that can be a little bit faster if you get to be proficient at it. Another way to do it is to tension both of your yarns separately. And I always tension my yarns on my pinky finger. So tension both of your yarns separately on your pinky finger. So tensioning my main color and my contrast color. So tension them separately and hold one on your index and one on your middle. And this way you would just pick from different fingers. And you might want to flex your index finger every once in a while to get it out of the way anytime that you need to pick up that background color. And finally, there's the way that I use and that seems to be very common is to just hold, simply hold one yarn in each hand and just work in each style. So you're going to pick a stitch, throw a stitch, pick a stitch. We'll just move needles here. So you're going to throw a stitch and pick a stitch. 
Throw a stitch with your right hand, pick a stitch with your left hand. Throw a stitch with your right hand, pick a stitch with your left hand. So there are a lot of different ways to do it, but just experiment until you find a way that works for you. And we'll be right back. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit our website for free access to all the patterns, project ideas, tips and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily. Log on and get printer-friendly patterns and more at KnittingDailyTV.com. This is show 306. Take your knitting to the next level. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for your free e-booklet of 13 tips, hints and secrets to improve your knitting skills from the designers featured on Knitting Daily TV. Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Interweave Magazines and Books, inspiring, encouraging, and supporting creative self-expression through art and craft media. Interweavestore.com Webs, America's Yarn Store, a source for knitting and crocheting yarns and supplies. Yarn.com Taki Stacy Charles, feel the desire, knit your passion. TakiStacyCharles.com TNNA, the National Needle Arts Association, the organization for independent needle arts retailers, tnna.org. 